a uh, student at Jefferson. Um, it's been said by a potential candidate to this board that I am just a parent of a disabled child who doesn't want to be told no. Um, there's definitely some truth to that. I don't think anyone would be in this room right now if we didn't want the best for our children, and that's why we're all here. But in this case, the simple truth is my daughter would never see the inside of a new Jefferson as she will already have moved on to the next level school. So this is not purely a selfish motive for me to be here. Um, Jefferson can be good for more than just the children and the families that attend the school. It can be good for the entire community. Um, the board has also been told that we don't want to attract handicapped kids to our town uh, by building a new facility for them. Um, and that they can be a drain on our school system. Two years ago, myself, my wife, and my apparently community draining daughter moved here to Wheaton and bought a house. And we pay, upon a quick internet search, about two times the average property taxes of any of the average uh, resident of Wheaton. We spent support local businesses, we go to local restaurants, we have a babysitter who's at Wheaton College, and when we pay her, she spends her money in the community. Um, so my point being that you don't, you don't just attract a, a handicapped kid. The handicapped kids come from all types of families, and these families are exactly the people you want in your community who support your community. Um, many of the children that go to Jefferson have minor speech and motor delays, and being able to treat a lot of these children at a very early age and getting their education started actually can save taxpayers down the road tremendously. Uh, Jefferson has an amazing staff with administrators, teachers, therapists, and aides. And with the proper facilities, we can retain these very talented people and allow them to use their talents to get the most out of our children. Um, according to Zillow.com, the average home in Wheaton is valued at $239,000, and estimates that I've seen would place a $25 increase per year on this average home. Uh, let's humor everyone here and say that they badly underestimate this number and will double it to $50. If, if every single person received one-tenth of one percent of an increase in the value of their home, they would receive a 478% return on their property tax investment each year, not to, be able, not to mention the fact that they could advertise that their home is in a town that is on the leading edge of education. This meeting comes down to whether or not to place a question on the ballot three months from now. There are 53,000 residents in Wheaton, 13,000 residents in Warrenville, and some people in Winfield who are also in the district. Uh, who does it hurt to ask the people most affected about the quality of education and the increase in costs about this, whether they're in favor of it, by putting it on a ballot? Um, there are a lot of people in this room who are for and against the issue, and let them come out in April and decide for themselves what they are. I appreciate you listening to my words, and if you'll just give me 30 more seconds, my daughter actually, who speaks with an assistant device, would like to say something very quickly, 30 seconds. It takes her a second sometimes, she has to find it. I am not broken. I am beautiful. I am different, not less. I am challenged, not challenging. I am not a burden, I am a blessing. Brit syndrome is not a choice, but acceptances. Please vote yes to accept the referendum. Give me a chance to show you what I can do. Thank you.